Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial I'm going to show you how to do some simple soft and vintage color grading using the curves tool in the Lumetri color panel. So I've got this clip on my timeline. Instead of applying the effects directly onto the clip, I'm just going to use an adjustment layer to allow us to have some more flexibility and freedom. So if you highlight your project media bin, you can then go over to File, New, Adjustment Layer. Press OK and you should see it pop up in your media bin. Now you can drag this onto your timeline on top of your clips and stretch it out to whatever duration you want. And then that allows you to apply the adjustment over multiple clips and cuts. Now while there's a whole host of basic color correction, exposure, white balance type of things, when you're talking about color grading, if you're not using a preset, then curves is actually probably one of the most powerful ways to do it by hand and it might look familiar if you're coming over from Photoshop. So how it works is you have all your color channels, so this is red, green, blue, signified by this white dot. Then you have your red color channel, green color channel, and blue color channel. So in order to create a more warm, vintage looking tone, you can head over to the blue color channel and we can begin adjusting our line. Now how this works is the left portion of the line influences the shadows and dark parts of the, the clip, and the right portion influences the highlights. So when we're talking about the blue color channel, you can see if I just click in the middle and drag everything upwards, everything gets a lot bluer. If I drag everything down, everything gets a lot more yellow because we're drawing the blue out of the line. If you double click on your line, you should revert it back to normal. So with that in mind, if we actually click on the very top right corner and pull it down, you'll see that it pulls the blue tones out of the highlights which in turn makes everything more warm and golden yellow. On the opposite end, if you click and pull the shadows upwards a bit, you can put some soft blues into them, which lays a nice base for our soft vintage looking effect. So use your eye and see what looks good on the colors in your clip, and then you can head over to the next color channel, which is green. Now here you can influence the green or purple tone of the image. And I would recommend just being real subtle maybe pulling the greens up and the highlights a bit if that looks nice and then pulling some purple or magenta into the shadows however just be subtle with this and experiment to see what looks good with your photo adding some slight adjustment on these other color channels can help make the effect look better for your specific clip and personalize it a bit so in the red color channel we can see we can influence some red or blue so we can maybe give a, a bit more warmth if we want by pulling the red up you can also put some red into the shadows if you want. However, I'm going to be pretty subtle here since the bulk of our effect was done in the blue channel. And then in the red, green, blue or all color channel line, this is where you can influence the entire contrast or brightness of the image. So if you add a point here and pull down, that's going to darken the shadows. If you add a point here and pull up, that's going to increase the highlights, which in turn is going to add some contrast which in this case isn't actually what we want. So I'm going to double click and instead I'm going to actually drag the bottom left corner up to add a bit of a fade and lift the shadows of the image and then perhaps make one more point here to bring down the contrast back to normal a bit so everything's not so faded. So that's what my effect is going to look like. If you're ever working and you want to see a quick before and after, you can uncheck the curves box to see what you've been doing or you can just hide the visibility of the adjustment track. However, I think that that adds a nice, softer, warm, vintage feel to it. And one thing you can do to top it off that looks nice occasionally if you have images with bright blue skies is head over to the vignette panel and maybe just see if a nice little darken on the vignette, which is the shadowing around the corners, can make it look a bit nicer. Play around with the midpoint and roundness if you want. In this case, it's a kind of a cityscape. There's not much open sky, so I'm just going to keep it subtle. Additionally, as a final tip to keep in mind, if you want to adjust the overall strength of the adjustment layer, you can make sure the clip is highlighted, and then in the effect controls, turn off the keyframes and lower the opacity to get an overall less strong effect in case you went too strong. So that's how to color grade using curves in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is just one of the tools available in the Lumetri color panel. If you want to check out some more info on the rest of them, 
check out my other video on color grading in Premiere where I go over some of these other options. If you like this video, definitely leave a like on it and check out my channel for more Premiere Pro tutorials in a playlist and definitely subscribe for all types of new videos. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.